Hello and welcome. I'm the Autistic Modeler and today we're going to be building the 82 Dodge Van Turtle Wax Edition. Now this is a pretty cool kit. Let's look at the box. All right, on this side here, we got its options. Got a glass sunroof there. Got a wing, that's pretty neat. Optional wheels, factory grill. There's that wing again, rear glass. Pretty cool decals, some detail underneath. Let's look at the other side. It's an optional build version there. Looks like just like a panel van there. Nothing too special. Uh, different color decals. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, let's see what we got in that box. First of all, we have the big van body. Chassis in there. Interior tub. That's pretty cool. What else we got? Here's the spoiler parts. One under the bumper and the sides and the roof spoiler. Some curtains. It's like a table. Another spoiler, maybe. I'm not sure. Here's a, a divider of some kind. Suspension, exhaust, oil pan, air filter. Some extra seats. There's the front seats. Dashboard's coming off. There. Here's some pieces here. It's like another spoiler, I'm thinking there. I'm not sure what these are. I don't know, we'll find out. Some fog lights. Engine parts. Here's some side panels for the interior. I think we're going to use those. We're going to paint those a, a different color. Exhaust system and wheel backs. And then there's our chrome. We've got some stock hubcaps, stock grill and bumper there. Ooh, look at those side pipes. See those? Those are pretty neat. And here's our custom wheels. Whoops. Custom wheels there. That's pretty cool. Ooh, steering wheel came loose. Here's our tires. Not sure if these are brand name. These are brand name. They're a Goodyear tire. See that? That's pretty cool. Good tread on it. That's pretty neat. And then here's our decal sheet. Check that out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? The turtle size, that turtle wax on it, different turtle decals. That's pretty cool. And our book. There's the engine parts. This is a pretty neat kit. Oh, there's the bottom of the box with the tail lights and that sunroof. Got two different types of glass in there. That's pretty cool. Here's the rest of the glass. It comes with smoke glass and regular glass. Well, that's great. All right, we're going to have fun with this. We're going to decide how we're going to build it. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We've decided what style we're going to build this. We're going to make it like the box, just like this. That's pretty neat. So uh, we're going to end up using those turtle decals. These right here on the bottom. Like that. And some of these other ones, we're going to mix it up a little bit and make a custom interior, I think. And I'll show you how to do that. All right. Stay with us. Okay. Going over the instructions for our build, I noticed that uh, they were nice enough to already imprint the cutout for that sunroof it says it right here in the directions right there cut that and remove it and I'll show you how to do that in the video describe this a few times and then remove it take your time I want to use the smoke glass with the kit uh, so I think that's pretty cool for a custom van
Okay, we got the glass to fit up in there. Now I notice on the directions, it says to cut off this slight bit of overhang off the glass. I don't know how you're gonna get that without tearing that glass up. So what I did, I trimmed a few centimeters more than the hole opening here, trimmed and filed it to get it to fit right. Test fit several times on this. You only got one shot, otherwise you ruin your body. Okay, just a little tip there. Okay, now we got our roof sunroof put in. We'll just have to wash the body and go pick our paint out. This is what I picked. Called Gloss Jungle Green. It's pretty nice. It's there's the number of the paint right there. See that? Uh, this is a Krylon product. Works really well. I thought it was pretty close to the box art. And for the white, again, I'm going to use flat white. That's a Rust-Oleum product. So let's go over the paint. Okay, the van's out of paint. Let's go unmask it and see what we get. Okay, got the tape off. It looks like it turned out pretty well. No leaks, really. I think it's gonna work out pretty nice. So uh, on to the decals. All right, we got the decals on. It turned out pretty well. They uh, look pretty neat. A turtle on the side, turtle wax and stuff. All right, let's go do some more detail here on the body. Uh, come back with us.
Okay, we have our body trimmed out there with our moldings and wiper blades and around the windows. Turned out pretty nice. This is gonna be a pretty cool build. Stick with us. Okay, it's time to put our big window in there for the sunroof. Um, product I use to glue in windows is Mod Podge. Dries super clear, pretty quickly. And if you get a little on the windows, just dilute it with water or wipe it off. And uh, it doesn't ruin or fog up your glass. Just a little tip.
going over the directions, I noticed I was missing this little table stand piece. You can see it there in the photograph. And uh, so I went to my stash looking for parts, ran across this one. Look at this. This is a vintage kit here for you. That's really old. So I snagged the part I needed out of that. And then I found this little bed or table or whatever it is. We're going to add that to our build. And it's got a sink and a cabinet. It'd be neat putting it in there. That's going to be pretty cool. Stay with us. Check out something I noticed that I didn't see in the instructions when we went over the review. Look at that. TV set. We're going to use that. That looks like old Zenith. I don't know. Not sure. We're going to use it, though, in our build. All right, got my engine detailed. And looking over stuff on the internet, I believe this is a 360 engine. It's a small block Chrysler engine, so a 318 or 360 would be acceptable. But we're going to go to 360 because this is a big heavy van. And uh, for some reason, they put a stick shift transmission in this. So I'm not exactly sure. This probably would be an automatic in a big van like this. But it uh, went together pretty well. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some final details on it and get ready to install it in the frame. Stick with us. Okay, got our interior all finished. That turned out pretty well. Dashboard detail with some wood trim, seats, got that nice looking sink in there, and tables, seats. I decided against using that bed. It took up too much room. It didn't look right, so I went against that. Yeah, this piece here. Decided not to use it. But I did use the television set right there. There's a guy on te television there with a commercial already on pretty neat. So we're going to go ahead and get this ready to go, get close to final assembly. Okay, well, it's that time again at uh, the review before final assembly. Uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Well, first of all, we got that great looking wheels. Take a look at them. Like a turbine wheel. That turned out really well. I like these. The tires that were included in the kit, I couldn't get the white letters to show up really well to paint them so i went through my box and got these pad printed goodyear white letter tires they turned out really well we're going to go ahead and use them got a radiator a drive shaft air filter our engine here detailed our pretty cool interior with television set it's like a zenith and then our cool looking turtle wax body check that out that big sunroof so we can see that detail in our interior. Grill, big grill on there. This is a fun kit. All right, come back and we'll have that final assembly. Well, here it is, all finished. The 1982 Dodge Van Turtle Wax Edition. Let's take a look at it. Turned out pretty well. Look at that skylight in there. That's pretty neat. in there this is a pretty neat kit went together okay it had a little bit of problem there at the final assembly but it worked out all right uh, I do recommend getting it it's fun you can build it all sorts of different ways lots of stuff to do with this one all right well I'm the autistic modeler happy modeling